Good day! Welcome to my channel, Certain Vlogs! Good day, mga ka-everything! So, today, you will learn everything about math with me, Certain. So, let us proceed! So, our lesson for today is all about the roots of quadratic equation. The subtopic is the sum and products of roots of the quadratic equation. Before we going to discuss our lesson, let's have the learning targets or the objectives. You, the student, will be able, able to characterize the roots of quadratic equation using the discriminant and describe the relationship between the coefficients and the roots of quadratic equation. Okay, let's have a review. Before we begin, let us review the nature of the roots of quadratic equation. If the discriminant or capital D is greater than zero and it is not a perfect square, there are two roots, real, irrational, and unequal. If the discriminant is greater than zero and it is a perfect square, there are two roots, real, irrational, and unequal. If the discriminant is equivalent to zero, there is one root, real, rational, and equal. If the discriminant is less than zero, there are two imaginary roots or no real roots at all. Okay, let's have an example of this. So we have x squared minus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. So be sure the quadratic equation is in the standard form. So we have the quadratic term x squared, the linear term negative 6x, and the constant term, which is positive 9. Determine the values of a, b, and c. So a is 1, b is negative 6, and C is positive 9. Then our formula for finding the discriminant is the square of B minus the product of 4, A, and C. So we have D is equivalent to B squared minus 4AC. So the value of B, which is negative 6 squared minus 4 times 1, which is a, the value of A, times the value of C, which is 9. So negative 6 squared times itself, negative 6 times 6, the answer is 36. Then we have negative 4 times 1 times 9, the answer is 36. So 36 is equal to 36. We have discriminant equals 0. Since the discriminant is equal to 0, the roots are real, equal, and rational. So let's proceed to our main idea or main topic for today. So we have the sum and product of roots. So other relations between roots of quadratic equations can be derived by adding and multiplying the roots. The sum of the roots of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero is negative b over a. The product of the roots of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero or the quadratic equation is c over a. If the solutions are denoted by s sub 1, and S sub 2, pwede naman pong R sub 1 and R sub 2. We have the roots or the solutions. Then, negative B over A is the sum of the roots. 
C over A is the product of the roots. By substitution, we have the equation x squared minus the quantity of the sum of the roots, S sub 1 and S sub 2, x plus the product of the roots S sub 1 times S sub 2 is equal to 0. So we have now the quadratic equation, x squared minus times negative BAX plus C times A is equal to 0. Okay? Let's have an examples. For example, number 1, so we have to find the sum and the product of x squared plus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. So the first step to do is to know or determine the values of A, B, and C. So A, we have 1 from the quadratic term. B is 2 from the linear term. And the constant term, which is negative 8, or the last term. Then apply the sum of the root, negative B over A, negative 2, which is B, over A, which is 1. So negative 2 over 1, the answer is negative 2. The product of the roots, we have C over A. So negative 8, which is C, over A, we have 1. So negative 8 over 1. The answer is negative 8. Next, another examples. Example number 2. So find the sum and product of the roots. So we have A, 1 from the linear term. B is negative 9 from the quadratic term. Uh, uh, rather, malik. Okay, from the uh, quadratic term, we have 1. From the linear term, we have negative 9. From the constant term, we have positive 20. Formula for finding the sum is negative B over A. So negative over or negative times negative over 9 all over a, which is 1. So negative times negative, the answer is positive. 9 over 1, or 9. Next is C over A. So we have 20 over 1. Then simplify, we have 20. So the sum of the roots, we have 9. And the product of the roots, we have 20. By using our negative B over A and C over A. Proceed to another example. So by using the roots, makukuha natin or ma-determine natin on how to transform it into quadratic equations. So by negative B over A, we have the sum of the roots. So S sub 1 plus S sub 2. So we have negative times S sub 1, which is 7, plus negative 5. Okay. Perform natin ito. So 7 plus negative 5, unlike sign, mataas ang 7, bawasan ng 5. The answer is negative times 2. Or simply we have negative 2 as the value of B. Then our value of A, we have 1. Kasi since negative B over A, so value of A is 1. B is negative 2. Then, hanapin naman natin ang value ng C by the product of the solutions. So S sub 1 times S sub 2, so we have 7 times negative 5. Unlike sign, 
the product will be negative. So, 7 times negative 5, we have negative 35. So, this is our value of C. From the standard form of equation, AX squared plus BX plus C is equal to 0. So, the value of A is 1, we have x squared. The value of B is negative 2. So, we have negative 2x. Then, the value of C, we have negative 35. So, minus 35 is equal to 0. So, from the solutions, we come up to the standard form of quadratic equation x squared minus 2x minus 35 is equal to 0. Okay, another example in transforming the solutions from or two quadratic equations. Okay, the product and sum, we have the product, b over a equals negative times s sub 1. So 1 half plus negative 4. So if we add fraction and whole number, so get the LCD from the denominator. So between 2 and 1, so we have 2. Then divide by the first term denominator. So we have 2 divides to 1 times the first term numerator. So 1 times 1, we have 1. Then perform the indicated operation. Then 2 divides 1, we have 2. Uh, second term, denominator. Then from the result, 2 times or multiply by negative 4, which is the, per, uh, the second term numerator. So 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Then proceed to addition of integers with unlike sign. So negative 8, mataas. Pawasa ng isa, we have negative 7 over 2. Then multiply natin sa constant na negative. So we have now 7 over 2. The value of B is 7. The value of A, we have. Yan po. Then, hanapin naman natin yung value ng C by uh, getting the product of the solutions. So, we have S sub 1, we have 1 half times negative 4. Okay. In multiplying fractions and uh, whole number, so directly numerator to the whole number, so 1 times negative 4, the answer is negative 4. Then, my imaginary 1, 2 times 1, we have 2. Then, simplify, dividing both sides by the common divisor 2. So, 4, negative 4 divides 2, the answer is negative 2. Then, 2 divides 2, we have 1, or negative 2. So, our value of C is negative 2. Since we have value of A, which is 2, value of B, which is 7, value of C, which is negative 2. So, we have 2x squared plus 7x, the value of B, minus 2, the value of the constant term, is equal to 0. Now, our equation is 2x squared plus 7x minus 2 is equal to 0. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoy watching and learning. See you on my next vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.